Alright, so I'm out here in the bush, and uh, I've actually summoned a wither, and um, <laughs> we're going to go get him. Okay. He's kind of been giving me a little bit of a rough time, I'm not going to lie. But uh, we're going to get this guy. I died a couple times, and uh, honestly, I thought I was recording. Turns out I didn't even have fraps loaded, so you guys have missed quite a bit of the fun. business with these arrows bouncing back is really driving me nuts. strength potions and we got some healing potions some yeah some healing potions should have got some doggone regen but let's see what happens come on guy where are you at to be. I need some regen. That instant health is not working. <clears throat> Let's see. Let me find those roses. That's where all our stuff is. Oh, he's right there. Okay, that's not cool. Oh, if he blows up all our stuff, that's going to really, really, really suck. That's going to really, really, really suck. OK, 
Okay, um... <laughs> He's guarding our stuff! <gasps> oh, man. And that's probably him just destroying it all. <sighs> okay, I gotta take a break. And, uh, collect my thoughts. I'll see you in a little bit. So in a very, very... Strange turn of events. The wither is gone. Like I can't find him anywhere. Um. He just disappeared. I was gonna run back to my base and uh, decided not to. I charged in. I got my stuff. Um, I can't find my chest plate. It's gone. But I got everything else, and he killed me again. And now he's gone. Oh man, that's that's scary time. Let's run over this way. Um, but he's not activating. His health bar's not coming up. Uh, he's he's gone. I wonder if he died, like suffocated or something crazy. That would suck even more. If he just disappeared, I mean, not only did I lose all this stuff in the process, but now I lost the star that he's that he's holding on to. Oh goodness, where is he at? Maybe he got distracted and started chasing something. But, uh... I think he's gone. Hmm. Weird. Very, very weird. Alright, I'm going to search around for him, and uh, I'll be back with you if I do find him. Alright, I'm back with you. Found him. He's over here somewhere, but all of a sudden my bar just changed, so I started to uh, push the button. I've got some regeneration potions this time, and some strength. <clears throat> Let's nail this dude. There he is. I see heads. Stop dying. Oh, now you want a piece of me? You better recognize, son. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we do know one thing for sure. Um, in the time that I wasn't recording when I was trying to fight him originally, uh, I was using projectile protection uh, armor uh, because I thought, well, shoot, he's shooting projectiles, so it would be, you know, more protective. And uh, while it is indeed more protective, the part that you're not protected against is the withering. So the actual protection four protects you against the the actual withering effect itself. So that's good to know. Hey, guy. 
All right, let's not die. Let's go kill this bed real quick. Oh, so excited to finally have a stupid beacon. Let's get rid of this bed over here. And that way we don't respawn out here. Um, if anything ever happens to us again. Hey. Okay. All right, I'm going to head back to the rear and uh, go get our... Hey! Oh, I'm so glad we found him. I mean, that was craziness. I guess he just wandered off trying to get those sheep that were over there in that corner. Um, all right, I'm going to head back and... Uh, Really? It wasn't even close to you. Okay, I'm not having very good respect for the land here. I'm going to head back and uh, get the materials we need to build this nether star, and then we're going to put this joker in place. Ciao, ciao. All right, so we got everything we need to make the beacon, and uh, just to update, I finished this uh, gravel path headed to our thing, planted some trees, kind of made the garden or the, uh, the wheat here a little bit random. Uh, some random grass, and uh, yeah, just kind of spruced up the entrance here, and uh, I like it. I like it. I want to start kind of fitting more and more things in uh, a little bit closer and closer, so... But uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, craft this beacon real quick. we got our star, our glass, our obsidian, and beacon. Oh yeah, cool beans. And uh, you know, so I want to uh, I want to provide some balance in the map here. And uh, originally, when I very first had the concept in my mind for this, I actually toyed with the idea of a beacon going up through the center of it. And I ended up going against it because when you climb the ladder, you couldn't see out of the light beam. Uh, but we're gonna fix that too. Uh, but yeah, so to provide more coverage and spawn, we're going to put a beacon going up through the center of this guy. I've already took the liberty to prepare the area down here. Um, again, more of that uh, underground tunnel that uh, we had, but this time I went with a different theme. More uh, like wood and stone. While I was digging here, I was uh, it, it reminded me of, uh, of the show Lost uh, again. Just thinking about, you know, like how they had the various pockets of electromagnet, uh, electromag, <laughs> oh my gosh, electromagnetivity um, all over the island. And, uh, and so I kind of thought that would be, you know, something kind of silly. Uh, and, uh, you know, that, you know, all over. Our, our area here, you know, we have various pockets of energy that have, you know, special power, uh, i.e. the beacon. And uh, and so then, it, then of course, my mind started racing and I started thinking about, I want to create another room like this, just like the, um, uh, just like the Swan Station in, um, in, uh, in Lost, where, like, behind the thing, there's the wheel sticking out of the wall and everything. I think that would be totally sweet. All right, so, let's see. Speed and regen. Let's do that. And then we'll actually take this ingot. We'll put this one on speed and regen as well. Speed, regen... Awesome. Now we're covered all over the place. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, just temporarily, I'm going to put this in here right quick. Uh, and we'll, f we'll figure out a new solution as far as, uh, you know, getting up into there and whatnot. Now that we have this uh, um, visitor center here, we can kind of adjust our entrance a little bit. So perhaps there's some sort of, um, like... Uh, a way that you can kind of go around one way to go up and then go around the other way to go to the farms below 
So, yeah, yeah, I think I'll do that. Uh, this is the solution that I came up with. And I uh, put a glass floor right here. You can kind of look down, there's like a, a lower catacomb type chamber. And, uh, and yeah. So, kept the entrance in the center. Uh, and then this is a, a stairwell to get up with some trap doors uh, that allow us to go up our ladder. Now, again, the light's in our way, so we can't really see where the different levels are and the and stuff that we need to get off on. So that is where this switch is comes into place. Flip the switch. Beacon shuts off. You can go up and down, no big deal. Flip the switch back. And the beacon comes back on. So one of the reasons of why I wanted to go ahead and get a beacon on this side too was we are going to do a little bit of work on Lilycat's house. And for the longest time it's just been this big old mound of dirt uh, that uh, it's right here in the middle of spawn and it's frankly it's kind of lame. And uh, we're going to dress it up. Alright, so as you can see the mountain is gone. I have completely wiped away her big old pile of dirt and uh, left everything that was inside of it in place. So this is the chicken egg machine and uh, these are all her chests. Unfortunately her cake is gone but I will replace that um, and uh, eventually I'm gonna work on moving her chests but what I want to go ahead and do is get her new base set up and uh, we're gonna do that right in let's see yeah right in this we're gonna area. use some of her wool and uh, and I think this will work out much cooler make it like a quilt kind of design Yeah, we'll come back and we'll do like little tassels and stuff, that'll be fun. Like this, like that, um, let's see, mm -hmm. guess what it is <laughs> oh this is gonna be fun oh yeah okay this is looking like a kitty this is looking like a lily kitty funner twist in it. And then 
so the eyes are going to be here. Mm -hmm. And, uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. And these are going to be the ears. I think these are ears. I think those are ears. Here, here. Oh, nope. You're too low. Yes. Yes. Okay, I gotta take four off the oh yes. Mm-hmm. That is so cute. So adorable. Hmm. So adorable. Oh man. Alright, let me look at this and double check it with uh, something I've got a screenshot of here and uh, and I won't keep you while I'm nugging out the details. So I figured out what was wrong. The head was actually one too far back on the uh, on the neck. It needed to be, the whole head needed to be forward one. And these green eyes just are not doing it for me and I think it's because of the shape of the actual emerald on them. It just, I don't know. So I went and got uh, some diamond blocks and uh, I think it's gonna look a lot better. Oh, that's so adorable. That is so adorable. She's gonna love it. So now I need to f hide some glowstone in it. That looks fabulous. Someone's coming downstairs. It might be her. Yeah, it is her. We'll come back to this another time. All right, I'm back. Actually, I just tucked little little Lily Cat into uh, into bed for the night. And you know what? This is gonna look really cool. This is gonna look really cool. Just need one more. Wonder if I can reach. Oh, of course I fell. Of course. Alright. So yeah, just tucked her into bed for the night. As it is late here. Oh, too cute. Super cute. I'll bet you I could put... Let's see if I can... Up. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Right in the noggin. Let's give you a little glowstone brain, Lily. Like that. Sure. Man, I would have almost messed it up. you'll barely even see him. I think that might be the... Nighttime cometh. Alright, I'm gonna sleep and then uh, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move all of her storage uh, underground, under Lily, and uh, and yeah, I'll be back with you once I've moved everything and I'll show you where we're at. I'm starting to move things in. <laughs> and uh, this is actually hours later because Inspirazione definitely took hold. And let me show you her sweet little kitty pad. I'm really digging it. I am really digging it. So like a little kitchen area. Uh, got the cakes that took forever to get the cakes made. <clears throat> this is a little bedroom area, and uh, yeah, now I'm just filling in all her. Um, uh, I guess you could say cupboards, <laughs> and um, 
I'm really liking the way it turned out. Alrighty. And, uh, and you know, of course, I got to put my little bit of, a uh, um, little bit of organization into it. But yeah, check this out. So this ended up under the water, so she can kind of look out, you know, as any kitty would do as they're sleeping, look up and look at all the fish swimming around. So yeah, I think she's going to flip out. So anyway, I'm going to keep transporting goods. There's no fun in watching me do that over and over. So I'll uh, be back with you when I'm done. And two fish. Two fish. And I think that's it. She's got some pests. Whoops. She's got some uh, pests down in caves below. So... Oh, I could sleep. I haven't been able to sleep because of uh, monsters in the caves. But, uh, yeah. Okay, good. So it works. Awesome. Alright. Well, this is adorable. And uh, I think she's really going to like it. We just need to put a door on it. Will that trigger the door? Perfect. Awesome. Until next time, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this build. Uh, I can't wait to see her reaction and uh, see, see how much she enjoys this. Uh, I had a lot of fun building it, and, uh, and this really cleared out a lot of space. Um, it really kind of gave a, a more open feel to uh, to this area of spawn, and uh, it just opens the door for some other things to come. So, yeah. All right. Ciao, Lily. E ciao a tutti. Bye.